Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of May 8, 2016. A newly discovered dinosaur may have had special sensory capabilities. Scientists have discovered Sarmentiosaurus mesachioi, a new species of titanosaurian dinosaur, based on a complete skull and partial neck fossil unearthed in Patagonia, Argentina. Titanosaurs, a type of sauropod, may have been the most common large herbivores in the southern hemisphere landmasses during the Cretaceous. Despite their abundance, the skulls of these animals, critical to deciphering certain aspects of their biology, are exceedingly rare. Using CT imaging, the authors of the study closely examined well-preserved skull and neck fossils from Sarmentiosaurus. The researchers found that the Sarmentiosaurus brain was small relative to its enormous body, typical of sauropods. However, they also found evidence of greater sensory capabilities than most other sauropods. They suggest that the Sarmentiosaurus had large eyeballs and good vision, and that the inner ear may have been better tuned for hearing low-frequency sounds compared to other titanosaurs. Also, the balance organ of the inner ear indicates that this dinosaur may have always held its head with the snout facing downward, possibly to feed primarily on low-growing plants. Discoveries like Sarmentiosaurus happen once in a lifetime, says study leader Ruben Martinez. That's why we study the fossils so thoroughly, to learn as much about this amazing animal as we could. Leg-wing cooperation in baby birds and dinosaurs is key transition in the origin of flight. New research reveals that despite having underdeveloped muscles and wings, young birds acquire a mature flight stroke early in their development, initially relying heavily on their legs and wings to work in tandem to power the strenuous movement. The new study is important for understanding the development of flight in modern birds and reconstructing its origins in extinct dinosaurs. The transition from ground-living dinosaurs to flight-capable birds is one of the major evolutionary transitions in vertebrate history, because flight is the most physically demanding form of locomotion, said lead author Ashley Hears. Researchers used 3D x-ray movies to watch birds at a variety of ages as they flap their wings to help climb steep slopes, a behavior scientists call wing-assisted incline running. They found that when flap running at similar levels of effort, juvenile and adult birds show similar patterns of joint movement. Despite their underdeveloped anatomy, young birds can produce all of the elements of the avian flight stroke and modify their wing stroke for different behaviors just like adults. This wing-leg cooperation is a bridge between leg and wing-based modes of locomotion, and the study indicates that extinct theropod dinosaurs might have done the same thing with their mini-wings before flight evolved. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a free contest coming in just a few days. You will be able to enter to win these two brand new Jurassic World Dino Hybrid toys from Hasbro. The Hybrid FX Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue will be going to one lucky winner. Subscribe and stay tuned to the channel for more information coming soon. That's all for this week. And until next time. Rawr!